dropped out of school when the baby was due. And my mom, well, she wasn't really that helpful, you know. Like, she thought I was stupid getting pregnant and all. Especially when I split up with Mark, Caitlin's father. Jerk. I got sick of her always telling me what I do with my baby is wrong. And like, how much pampers cost and I've thrown my life away and all. Anyway, I'm on welfare and I'm finishing high school. So I think, great, I can leave home and get a place of my own. So this friend calls and tells me about an apartment for rent near their place. I call and this woman says she'll meet me there. My husband and I had a place just like this when we started out. Beautiful sunshine, good vibes, lots of outlets, nice fridge. Oh, and there's a bus stop just outside. It's quite a nice, safe area. Isn't it beautiful, Caitlin? No one to bug us. Is your husband coming down to have a little look-see? What? Your husband. Is he coming to have a look-see? I don't have a husband. We split up. It's so hard these days. I don't know how you girls do it. You do have a job, don't you? Have you finished school? How are you going to feed her? What about daycare? I can pay the rent. It's all that should matter. Oh, honey, I wish I could help you. There's no problem. I'm on welfare. I know, I know. But we've had some situations in the past. It's company policy now. It's got to be. You understand. We just can't take people on welfare. And we don't take single mums. And that's that. I'm really sorry. Goodbye, sweetheart. Take care of mummy. Her name is Caitlin. And I take care of her. So I'm like, I wouldn't live in this dump if you paid me. And I took off. I don't have to take that from anyone. I could have paid the rent. I had sitters all lined up. Well, anyway, it's her loss. In Alberta, to deny someone a place to live on the basis of their source of income, family status, or marital status, is against the law. Landlords can ask prospective tenants about their credit or rental history and ask for references, but Lisa's agent asked inappropriate questions and made it clear that her company made it a policy not to rent to welfare recipients or to single mothers. Blanket policies like these, based on assumptions and not objective facts, are clearly discriminatory.